Now here's the problem. Uh, we have cloned the disk using system kernels uh, disk to VHD. The problem is that the disk was a GPT disk and then when we import it into Hyper-V it won't boot. Now what I did was I used AOMI Partition Assistant in a client operating system and then mounted that disk into the client operating system and using Hyper-V this is quite easy. Now the reason I use AOMI is because of Microsoft tools if you convert from MBR to GPT, it wipes the disk. Well, we don't want that since we just spent a couple hours creating the, the BHD. But first we have to remove all of the GPT stuff from the disk and just leave the operating system. And of course we want to resize the disk, we don't want to leave, leave waste space at the beginning. And then we apply it. And once applied. We can now convert the disk from GPT to MBR format. And using this tool, we don't end up wiping the disk, which is really what we don't want. Thank you.
Well, what do we need to, for a bootable disk? Well, I'm going to use the the Windows 12 operating, uh, I, sorry, correction, Server 12 disk. Okay, and we just go into Repair Tools, and we have and we have to to bring up a command prompt and use disk part, and then make that disk active. That is only one part that we need. Because the disk also needs a master boot record. Uh, the BCD store has to be initialized. And also, we have to populate the BCD store. I apologize, but I seem to have cut off the, the bottom half of the bottom line. So please bear with me. So you need boot rack slash fix MBR, boot rack slash fix boot, and then boot rack rebuild BCD. BCD. I here I was hoping I was done, but as you can see, the operating system wasn't found. I need to do one more step. And by the way, if boot rec slash rebuild BCD doesn't work, it means you're in a type 2 virtual machine. You must be using a type 1 virtual machine. So delete the VM, create a new VM, which is 
type one, and then just add, add the disc that, that we're ever working on now. Now the last step is BCD boot slash whatever your windows okay but here out it's turned out that was C with my boot disk I have my operating system so it's BCD boot C slash C colon slash windows and then we restart the system and what do you know it is going to boot and it booted oh this is the hard way of doing things but it works And I thank you for watching. And hopefully, <clears throat> if you have any comments, let me know. Ciao for now.